Hey everyone, I'm Noah. And I'm Jaden. And we are the Super Gamer Bros. And today we are finally discussing the next installment in the legendary God of War series. Uh, God of War Ragnarok, as we all know, has been a highly anticipated sequel since the launch of the reboot back in 2018. After many long years, Sony Santa Monica has finally announced that the long-awaited sequel will be, in, will be releasing on November 9th of this year, 2022. Uh, the news comes as a great relief to many who were fearful that the game was, uh, like many games coming out recently, going to be facing delays and lulls in development. Uh, the team has repeatedly addressed these issues, stating that the game would, re would release this year on schedule, and right now that still appears to be the case. Jaden, do you think that this is the case? I do think so. Santa Monica, in my experience, is not one for pushing for delays once an actual official date has been announced. And I don't even know if God of War Ragnarok has even been delayed. I don't think they've ever even gone so specific as to say like a, a year before just 2022. No, you're right. They did say 2022. And then before that, they never had a specific date. And now there is one, which is November 9th. Um, but still, people yeah. thought that they were going to push it from 2022 to 2023, just like indeterminate. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying, but I definitely think I'm confident that it will come out in November. I don't know. You know, in this climate, you never know. I suppose you're correct. Uh, so, yes, uh, along with announcing the release date, um, they also announced all the versions of the game that will be coming out. And this is what I am excited for. Yeah, I was going to let you take over this part. Okay. So the different versions got uh, several different versions. First, the launch version uh, comes with DLC armor for Kratos and Atreus that are snow-themed. It's a cosmetic item, uh, so there is no in-game bonuses uh, for this. Then there's the standard edition. It's the game. Next. Right, uh, that's actually, the standard edition is actually the only one that's price is guaranteed. Um, they didn't announce prices for any other edition, including the digital deluxe, as yeah, far but, as I'm aware. I mean, pre-orders do open on July 15th, so at the very least, that is when they'll be finalized, I have to imagine. Yeah, there's a note about that. Yeah. Anyway, then there's the digital deluxe edition. Uh, it is the full God of War Ragnarok game on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles, so both versions, which is a, a typical thing for digital deluxe games. Uh, you also get the Kratos Darkdale armor and Atreus uh, Darkdale attire uh, for Atreus cosmetic. Uh, the Darkdale blade handles for the Blades of Chaos. The Darkdale axe grip for the Leviathan axe. I assume that the Kratos armor handles and axe grip are do have stat effects. I think they're all cosmetic, but it also said that those things were obtained through story, so I don't know. Maybe they so are. I, yeah, I'd have to imagine then. Um, and then the official God of War Ragnarok digital soundtrack, uh, the Dark Horse digital mini art book, an avatar set, and a PlayStation 4 theme. Uh, this is probably what, the edition we will get. I mean, the edition you'll get, maybe. Wait, you're just gonna you're gonna get one of the other ones? I'm gonna get a physical one, man. Why don't you scroll down, buddy? Oh, good let me God. let me regale you the tales of. Uh, oh, good. All right, go ahead, uh, Jade. So then, and we'll talk about our physical editions. There's the collector's edition. The collector's edition comes housed in a beautiful box uh, representing the Knowledge Keeper's shrine. This shrine was of the triptychs that Kratos and Atreus came across in God of War 2018. It was one of the collectibles. Uh, and this, the box here depicts the tale of a powerful seer, the giant sorceress called Groa, who was the first to have a vision of Ragnarok. Uh, upon opening the shrine, you will find the following. A printed voucher code for the full God of War Ragnarok game on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 consoles. A steelbook display case, uh, no game disc is included. The God of War Ragnarok steelbook display case depicts renditions of the bear and the wolf. Uh, I don't know two, what that means. Yeah, I assume it's some Norse mythology thing. Two-inch Vanir twins carvings uh, in the same style as Atreus's wooden toy carvings of the Holdra brothers from God of War 2018 Collector's Edition, the Stonemason Edition, actually. 
the God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition completes the set with carvings of the Vanir Twins. Uh, and then a Dwarven dice set, a set of dice with a quality wood-like finish in a dice bag with a symbol of Yggdrasil on the outside. Yggdrasil being the world tree that connects all of the, uh, what are they called, realms? Some realms. Well done. Thanks. And then a 16-inch Mjolnir replica, a highly detailed replica of Thor's signature weapon from God of War Ragnarok, and all the previously mentioned DLC, of course. And then, uh, the last edition, the Jotnar edition. Inside the Jotnar edition, uh, you receive the uh, printed voucher for the uh, game, a 7-inch vinyl record with music by Bear McCreary, the Falcon, Bear, and Wolf pin set representing Faye, Kratos, and Atreus, respectively. So I guess the Bear and the Wolf oh, are yeah, Kratos yeah, and Atreus. Makes... Yeah. <laughs> this pin set symbolizes our hero's family. Uh, the legendary Draupnir ring, a ring for Norse mythology. The legendary Draupnir ring comes in a red cloth bag. Uh, Brock's dice set. Uh, this dice set comes with a metallic silver finish with blue detailing. Uh, dice bag features the Holdra brother's hand. The Yggdrasil cloth map. This cloth map shows each of the nine realms within the branches and roots of Yggdrasil. Uh, a steel book display case, no game disc included. Two, uh, the two-inch uh, Vanir twins carvings and the 16-inch Mjolnir replica. So, yeah, really cool. Yeah, so really cool. Uh, yeah, so, like, uh, it does actually look uh, really I, cool. They, <laughs> really cool stuff. Uh, I'm really, really excited uh, for the, uh, I will try to get the Jotnar edition. Uh, which, uh, for anyone who uh, watches this, assuming you watch it before July 15th, 2022, pre-orders go live on July 15th, 2022 at 10 a.m. local time. Yeah, 10 a.m. local time. Obviously, for the collector's Yotnor edition, uh, supply will be limited, so you want to get it fast. And very funny story to tell you, Noah, about this. So today I went to GameStop to pre-order some games. Mm-hmm. And I asked about God of War, and he said that they it went on a pre-order on the 15th. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy who works there, who, you know, I still go to GameStop a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, like, the guy knows me there. So, you know, we're just, we just you know, talk a bit every time I go. And I was like, hmm, I'm probably going to want to get here early for that. And he was like, yeah, I'd highly recommend coming, like, in the morning right after we open uh, if you want to get one. But I work next Friday, obviously. So, uh, because, you know, this guy knows me and stuff, what he, because he works that day, uh, what we are doing is I put a $25 pre-order down on a different game. And, and he's on gonna Friday, switch it that day. Yeah, uh, Friday at 10 a.m. when they open, I am going to call them. I'm going to call that guy and have him cancel that pre-order and put that money down on the, if I can, the Jotnar edition of God of War, if not the collector's edition. I support it. Yeah, so that's the, that is, I just thought it was really funny we're recording this today because I just had that conversation with him like two hours ago. Right, that is really funny. Um, yeah, yeah so no, I think I am, I'll probably get the digital deluxe if anything, but. I am, um, I am uh, really, really uh, hoping to get that Jotnar edition. Although I will say for the collectors and the Jotnar edition, I think it's really stupid that it doesn't come with a disc. Yeah, that's weird. I did not see that my first time going back there. So there's no way to play this game on disc. It's strictly digital only. Well, the standard edition is physical, I assume. So you'd have to buy the standard edition as well as one of the collector's editions to have a disc with it? To actually have a disc with it, yes. That's Which funny. is stupid. Like, I'm sure... I, I, I'm going to make a guess that the Jotnar edition will be $300. In the collector's edition, I'll say anywhere from two hundred to two fifty. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Yotnar, I could, I'll go as high as three fifty for that one. Wow. Um, God. But if you're paying, I mean, guaranteed, neither of those is going to be cheaper than two hundred dollars. If you're paying two hundred dollars, put a disc in there. Like what? Yeah, that is fair. Like it, it, it's. I remember it, when collector's <laughs> editions were like no more than one hundred fifty. I don't know. I I think it's dumb. I think that's dumb. I'm still absolutely going to get it because of everything else. But I think it's so stupid because, one, I think disc is, is part of the whole package. So uh, would you buy a standard edition if you bought the Jotnar? Uh, no. Okay, so I, you would just play I, it I, downloaded. It, oh, absolutely. I mean, I don't – to me, it's just stupid. Like, why would I have a display game case that doesn't have a game in it is how I feel about that, you know? 
it's something really what is most likely going to happen. It's going to be something that is on my mind. And like five years from now, it, the disc version of that game will be like $15 on eBay and I'll buy it from, and I'll buy it then. But I'm certainly not going to pay $70 to get a disc copy of this game. In addition to however much I'm paying for the collectors or Yotnar edition. Right. Like I'm stupid when it comes to physical collecting things, but I'm not that bad. Right. I do have my limits. Anyway, uh, that's, I mean, that's God of War Ragnarok. Uh, I'm really excited. I think the collector's editions, the physical ones, are really, really cool. I'm really pumped. I am so happy it's this year. Yes, after a long uh, drought for news, it's good to hear something. And we heard a lot just this week, and, you know, I think I'm excited, you're excited. Everybody who is 